Hello all. This video is on ESP32 PWM which is used for LED fading and motor speed control. As there is no analog write function in ESP32 Arduino core, we will be using a different function. First let us see the code for implementing PWM. First we declare the LED pin as 2. That is we are going to use the inbuilt LED, inbuilt blue LED and we use two variables brightness and the fade value we declare that as integer values and under void setup we use the LED C attach pin as there is no analog write function in ESP32 we will be using uh, the new function LED C function first is the LED C attach function uh, which has parameters which accepts parameters that is the GPO pin which we declared as uh, LED pin and the channel there are 16 channels from 0 to 15 we will be using uh, the channel 0 first we have to assign the uh, GPO pin to channel using LED attach pin LED C attach pin the next function is uh, LED C setup uh, which is used to declare the PWM properties here the arguments are uh, channel the PWM frequency and the resolution here the channel we use is 0 and the PWM frequency is uh, 5000 that is 5 kilohertz and resolution we use uh, is 8 bits we can use up to 16 bits uh, 8 10 12 or 16 here we use 8 bits so the maximum analog value will be 2 power 18 that is uh, 255 so using this LED C setup we declare the uh, PWM properties channel PWM frequency and the resolution and under void loop we use the LED C write function and the parameters are uh, uh, the channel and the value the channel here used is uh, 0 and the value is the brightness value and then we uh, increase the brightness value and add it to fade value if the brightness value is uh, less than 0 or uh, greater than 255 that is uh, as we use the 8 bit resolution the maximum value is 255 then we reverse the fade, va fade value that is fade value we uh, apply a negative value and then we apply a delay now save this file and then click on upload you have to press and hold the boot button uh, for the code to be uploaded once the code is uploaded you can see the inbuilt blue LED uh, the fade effect of the inbuilt blue LED according to the code the inbuilt blue LED um, which is mapped to GPO2 is fading Now let us use a potentiometer and an external LED to demonstrate the uh, PWM. At the GPU 15 we will be connecting the LED and at uh, GPU 4 we will be connecting the potentiometer that is the center pin of the potentiometer. Uh, connect the long lead of uh, LED to GPU 15 and then short lead uh, through a resistor a value of around 1k will do and the other end of the resistor is connected to ground pin using male to male jumper wire a potentiometer of uh, value around uh, 10k will do plug in the center pin of the potentiometer to uh, GPU 4 the first end is uh, goes to plus 3.3 volt and the last end goes to ground the center pin of pot goes to GPU 4 so when you vary the potentiometer a value between 0 to 3.3 volt is applied at the center pin which is given to the GPU 4 pin So this is read by analog read function 
and we uh, apply to PWM. Let us see the code. Inside code, we define the uh, potentiometer pin, pod pin as uh, 4 and LED pin as 15. And under setup, we use the LED C attach pin as we did earlier uh, to attach uh, the GPU pin to a channel. We attach the LED pin to channel 0 and then we use the LED C setup function to define the PWM properties that is channel is 0 and we use 5000 Hz that is PWM frequency and resolution is 8 bits and under void loop uh, we use the LED C write function to apply the value to the channel 0 we use the analog read function to read the value of the potentiometer and apply it to uh, channel 0 Now click on upload. While the compiling is over, you have to keep the boot button pressed and hold it to upload the code. Once the code has been uploaded, uh, you can just vary the potentiometer and see the uh, LED uh, brightness varying according to the potentiometer value the LED brightness varies. This is the fading effect that is the pulse width modulation effect using uh, potentiometer. Now let us use the same code and setup to drive a DC motor. Uh, we will be using the same code and setup is also same. The DC motor we use here is a BIVO motor, battery operated DC motor of uh, 6 volt and uh, a L293 board is required to drive this motor. This L293 is a H-bridge driver board uh, which can drive up to two DC motors or a single stepper motor. We will be using only motor, single motor so only motor 1 is used. The control pins for motor 1 are IN1, IN2 and EN1. Uh, the DC supply to uh, L293 board is separate. Here we will be using a 6 volt uh, battery to for uh, DC source. As the motor is used is 6 volt, we will be using 6 volt battery. If it is a 12 volt motor, you have to apply 12 volt. There is inbuilt uh, 7805 regulator which gives 5 volt. Uh, this, this is on board. So connect this 5 volt to the positive rail of uh, breadboard. And the negative of the battery, that is minus of the battery to the uh, negative rail. The control pins for motor 1 are IN1, IN2 and EN1. IN1, IN2 decides the direction of the motor. We connect IN1 to 0 and IN2 to uh, high, that is 5 volt. That makes to run the motor forward. And EN1 uh, is connected to the uh, GPU 15. Then we remove the LED and then uh, connect the EN1 to GPU 15. And uh, important is uh, you have to make the both the ground common that is the ground of ESP32 and the negative of the battery should be made common. And the battery is powered uh, to L293 and ESP32 gets uh, power from USB cable. Now provide the battery supply to L293. And uh, change the potentiometer. Now you can see the motor running. According to the potentiometer value, the motor speed varies. Thus, pulse width modulation is applied and uh, we control the motor speed using the potentiometer. So, this pulse width modulation can be used to fade LED or control motor. Uh, thank you for watching.